Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday, it is August 8th, it is 2011, and this is Day 9 Daily number 337, where we learn to be a better gamer, except on Mondays where we dick around. It is Fun Day Monday, and I have a special treat in store for you. That is right, my squeaky chair would like you to know that we're doing not one, but... 10 games today. That is right. 10 games in this fun day Monday. Whoops, I gotta plug my headphones back in so you don't get feedback. It blows your head apart. We're doing 10 games this fun day Monday, and it is one of my favorite topics of all time. It is you must lift off your command center at the start of the game, float to some other foreign location, land, and begin your game. Very simple. Move your base at the start of the game. It was the Terran edition where, well, you can't really lift off hatches and nexuses, so... Let's take a look at today's intro game provided by Reaper. Who's going to show us how this works? All right, you're noticing we're just now hitting the five-second mark. That's great. He's going to be floating around town. He doesn't quite know where to go, but that's fine. He's playing against Phyrexia, which, by the way, new Phyrexia, one of my current favorite sets. All you got to do is top deck the batter skull in the draft. No problem. I guess I'm going Metalcraft. It looks like Freeper has some, something in store. What is going on? What could be coming up? Well, it looks like he's just going for a preliminary scout, but you know what it looks like in the main. In the main of Phyrexia! Oh no! Oh no! Freeper! Going for the push with the SCVs. It looks like it's ineffective, but he's not giving up. He's floating to the gold. Oh my gosh. Here it comes. He's landing. He's landing at the gold expansion. And meanwhile, in the main, we have Micro. Freeper, he's coming up. He's pulling back. He's going to come up at you. He's going to come away. He's going to walk back at you. Freeper's a blade man, man. Freeper will cut you, man. Phyrexia, in complete and total confusion and panic and all other grody things that happen when there are units in your base before two minutes is happening to Phyrexia right now. I actually think that sentence was grammatical. And it was on the spot. In the meantime, we do see the SCVs of Freeper causing f terror. In the base of Phyrexia. And it looks like in the income tab, oh my gosh, with just a worker mining. We have almost as much income as our opponent. Very good. You thought mules were imbalanced. Just try regular gold bases. So Freeper mining f gold minerals as quickly as he can. Oh no! One of them popped. One of them popped. But Freeper's a blade man, man. He's going to be dancing around. He's the daredevil Terran. Keep in mind these SCVs can repair themselves. And keep in mind he hasn't actually killed anything so we also see phyrexia starting to do a little bit of mining action himself doing as much as he can and oh my god he succeeded in bringing a drone to half life if he can do that again he will kill the first unit of this three minute long engagement but that's fine because he does have the gold base when you need your base to relocate suddenly worker ants can become soldier ants but unfortunately, that's just true for Ants. Freeper has SCVs that are literally, I think they're actually called Worker. Um, yeah, Basic Worker Unit. Look at that. Can gather resources, build Terran structures, and repair. Uh, can attack ground units. Ooh, look at that. Can attack ground units in a bright, bright, um, in a bright, bright, nice, happy uh, yellow time color. So in the meantime, we do see Frexa continuing to dance and dance as best as he can. Re Freeper pulling back into retreat. But Frexia has yet to build a pool. It looks like he successfully has... Let's count them. We have these six. We have these ones. That makes a grand total of eight versus the... Four, the five. And yet we see Freeper about even with his opponent. That's not a big deal. All right, good. WTF. Phyrexia's confused. Freeper is not giving up. Man, look at this. Freeper repaired his units. He's a blade man, man. He's dancing to the left. He's dancing to the right. He could go home. No, there's a pool getting built. Amazingly, the barracks is ahead. Amazingly enough, Freeper doing the dirty dance. Spawning pools planted in a position that almost blocks mining on one of the geysers. But oh my god, a bunker rush! A 6 SCV push directly into bunkers, but no, Phyrexia will be able to defend this this game, but Freeper hasn't yet canceled the bunker. He's going to have to pull these back. And at this point in the game, uh-oh, Phyrexia, see, what is a base doing here? Is this a base? Is this a base? Look at all those workers mining. Oh no! What hell the fuck? What hell the fuck is going on here? WHTF? What is this? What hell the fuck is in the middle of the map? 
It's a base. Freeper has succeeding in causing his opponents to say things that don't quite make a lot of sense. The bunker does get cancelled, but keep in mind bunkers are free. In fact, if you build one and then salvage it, you get 200% of its resources. It's a great way to accelerate mining because mules just can't quite cut it. It's not, it's not true. So in the meantime, we do see Freeper building more barracks, continuing to take advantage of this juicy, delicious gold expansion that he has. We do see the income is now ahead for our Terran player, but Phyrexia's not done yet. Freeper is going to have to figure out a way to defend mass banelings. It's kind of hard to wall off when you have a fat ramp, a fat ramp, and a fat ramp about three feet away from your center command center. It's also kind of hard when you haven't made an orbital command, Freeper! But that's fine. He's going to go ahead and cut that because he's coming in with units. <gasps> oh my god, thwarting defense by going to the left side. It's super ineffective. In the center of the map, Freeper decides he's just going to continue to make Marines and that perhaps some Hellions will be able to assist. Uh-oh, uh-oh! And look at Freeper with the Hero Micro. He will not even lose a Supply Depot. So now Zerg's a little thrown off. He had to do this crazy defense against only SCVs at the start of the game. Uh, it's completely reasonable to understand, you know. It kind of makes you do the what hell, the F sort of situation. But we do see, oh no, the double factory popping down by Freeper. Keep in mind, if you have one gold expansion without an orbital command, you can support four barracks, one factory, another factory, proxy bunkers, and non-stop SCV and supply depot production. Gold bases are pretty good. Gold bases are pretty good. An important lesson to learn. So in the meantime, we have Bunkers defending one of the three gigantic, widespread, open, vulnerable locations for Freeper. In the center of the map, we do see Phyrexia has constructed a line of spine crawlers. He's starting to get that standard look of ZVT. There's the spire going down. A baneling nest hasn't begun the centrifugal hook upgrade, but it's hard to get that gas when your spawning pool directly impedes the progress of your own workers. And why get one gold when you can get two? I don't know, it just seems fine to me. I mean, when I get one tea packet, I don't just cook tea once. This is my second cup of tea. And tea's a lot like gold expansions. It helps you it helps you kill people. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we see Freeper pushing with tanks, doing f sieging, scanning, Phyrexia's panicking. But Freeper with the Tasty dandy use of the gold expansion and the imbalanced nature of virtually all Terran units manages to come out on top with double factory, quadruple barracks, and upgrades, and non-stop SCV, and still has a little bit over to expand income level. Again, today, today is the day where I say sentences that are grammatical, but you can't quite tell. There's just a lot of commas in them. And meanwhile, Banelings aren't going to be particularly effective... And Phyrexia is going to be left with not a base in sight. Not a base, not a face. Nothing left to show for after this game. There's GG, GG. And what does Phyrexia say to close? Nice. Cheese. But of course it is no cheese. Today it is Funday Monday where we learn to be a better gamer. Where we learn to do things that make our opponents say WHTF, my friend. WH. TF. Now, we're going to go into uh, game number two coming up literally now, because I'm not going to do it next week, you guys. Let's go ahead and pop into something, an interesting consequence that can occur when your opponent tries to metagame you, when your opponent tries to figure out that which you will be doing without pulling any knowledge from within the game, accessing the outer cloister, as you would call it. And of course, as you hear the game sounds going on right now, we do see Munchtastic lifting landing and lifting as he is off on an incredible journey to the left and poor munchtastic is going to begin with a he this is a very common line at a bar when a man talks to a woman and realizes that he's actually not an interesting person hey hey good luck have fun oh kimarni kimarni kind of failed at the start also a very common line at a bar with someone who's just not very interesting but much tastic knows exactly what he's doing he's taking it to the left i don't go to bars what am i talking about on a friday night you know what i do you know what i do you guys seen archer on netflix oh that show's good those were, those were expressions of pleasure. You should watch it. That's what I was doing. But we do see Munchtastic successfully relocating, successfully recolating, re, reco, recolating, I think, 
Is recollating a word? I'm actually going to figure this out. I've been playing a lot of like Quiddler and Scrabble lately, and I keep making up words like Quiggin <laughs> and Freeper. Let's see here. Collate. Uh, so collate, we're just going to be doing a little learning. Collate means to compare critically, and you can do that again. You can recollate. Regardless, that's that's not what Munch Task is doing. Let's let's go back to StarCraft. Derp de derp de derp. What do we see here? Oh, Kimarne. Building a pylon in here. Oh, is he getting ready to Oh my goodness. Kimarne, Kimarne, Kimarne. Building a forge, because forges are gonna be useful when you're cannon rushing. Kimarne, Kimarne, Kimarne. I will have to recollate your strategy at a later time. Bing! See that reference? On the spot, baby. Ooh. There he is. There's a cannon rush going on, Kimarne. Wait a minute. What's going on? What's going on? Well, we do see that Munchtastic has a command center planted a full hex to the right. We could actually get a little bit closer, but already Munchtastic was having a little bit of insecurity when he went and said hi to the beautiful woman. Think about his opinion of money. He's going to approach that a little bit lightly. We do see Kimarne. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Don't let anything be revealed. Don't do it yet. Don't do it. We're going to... Wait... What did we learn? What did we learn, Kimarne? You should probably scout your opponent, because sometimes he won't even be there. Now, this is a problem with metagaming your op opposition, right? If you think he's going to have a base here because it's a two-player map, that's an assumption you shouldn't have because you might rack yourself up a loss, or you might rack yourself up the sickest game known to man. I'm drooling so much, Kimarne, and I don't even know why. Kimarne, you make me salivate in a way that I'm fine with. And in the meantime, it looks like, uh-oh, uh-oh, he found a base. Better cannon rush it. Better cannon rush it. I want to I wanna be in, in Kimarne's room at this point in time. I really want to be in there because maybe he plays, has some friends in there. Maybe he's like a lady friend. He's like, T come here, Tootsie Foot. Come on, come on. Come on, puppy cheeks. Why don't you come watch me play? Game? I'm pretty good at this game. Pretty good. I got this strat and super mega ultra crazy Gosu. I'm gonna build a base in his base. He won't even expect it. He's so dumb. His name's Munchtastic. What a nibnard, frick lard, bitch start. So, so Kamari already curses weird. He's kind of weird, right? <laughs> this fictional character that we're making up as we go. And as he's cannon rushing, he realizes there's no base there. And what does he do? He goes, finds the other base. Turns to his lovely lady and says, I have an idea. We're cannon rushing. That's right, Kamarne. Why don't you lay it on us? Why don't you build why don't you build some cannons? Alright, there he is. There's the there's the futon cannons going on, but oh my gosh! Munchtastic! You are fantastic, my friend! May all the confidence in the world be with you, but be careful, there's cannons! Munchtastic! Munchtastic! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Oh, no! Looks like Kimarne is gonna respond! Wait, wait, baby. Baby, he's building bunkers in my base. I'm gonna build some cannons to defend against those bunkers. Hmm? Hmm? Who's getting laid tonight? Kimarni is! That is right! Kimarni. He gonna get some. Meanwhile, it looks like Munchtastic. Now eliminating the pylon in the base. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's nothing being powered except for the cannon. Kimarne surrounds, he kills it off. Oh no, the cannons are super effective! Munchtastic, you lost track of your economy! Retreat! Retreat! All right, Munchtastic, satisfying fun day Monday twice in one game. Munchtastic, you are fantastic. And meanwhile, we do see Munchtastic the fantastic, but also rather spastic lad chipping away at the gateway. Not an important building because you only need a forge to build cannons. So we do see, it looks like, oh no, oh no, the range is enough to take out the cannon. Don't worry, baby, I got this. I know exactly what I'm doing. We're gonna build we're gonna build some more cannons, baby, don't you worry. Kimarne's got this. Meanwhile, Munchtastic has taken the gold, took a lesson from Reaper. Reaper. Looks like oh no, he's target firing the pylon! Pylon! Oh! Knode! Oh! Oh, you're freaking me out. What are you coming back for in this game? It's a Protoss player. Ugh, what a jerk. 
<sighs> All right, but we do see Munchtastic. He knows where to relocate. He's recollated his strategy and come to the conclusion that, well, if at first you don't succeed, pylon, pylon again. And we do see the probes now coming into the fray. Meanwhile, in the army tab, we see that both players effectively don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's a necklace! Oh, Kimarne, are you trying to do Fun Day Monday? Oh my goodness. You might not be trying to do it intentionally, but my goodness. Keep building cannons. Uh oh. Oh, I found a base! Hey! <laughs> baby. 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 Baby, we found a base. Baby, baby. Baby. Let's build some cannons here. Just you and me. Gonna build some cannons right off into the sunset. I'm 15, I have my driver's permit. I can take a car, just you and me. We'll make a life for ourselves. Don't worry, we're building more cannons. <laughs> this is awkward. Munchtastic, don't worry. I believe in you, Munchtastic. Come on, it. Why? Why, baby? What's awkward about this? I was just getting ready to get my smooth game on by building cannons. But no problem. We, we actually have a reinforcing nexus to keep the stream of probes steady to build more cannons! He's building cannons munchtastic with the defense! Photon cannons, come on! Mules, they don't even have an attack! They just have a shield there. They're... Ugh. No problem. He's just there in the fray. He's just showing up. He's just putting his hand in the huddle for Team Spirit. It looks like Munchtastic is going to satisfy Fun Day Monday three or four times in this game. He is now taking... He's, he can, hell, he can even do last week's Fun Day Monday. He can take a planetary fortress. It's not It's not a big deal. Oh my god, he's broken the defense! He broke... Uh, Kimarne didn't have enough cannons. Amazing to think that that was what the problem was here. I can actually identify that as the reason that he lost his defense. There weren't enough cannons here. <laughs> oh no! The probes! Munchtastic, the spastic, yet quite fantastic, not elastic enough to slip through the cracks of those probes that have aptly defended the base. He's gonna build some cannons, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> baby. Baby, don't you worry that we didn't build enough cannons in the first place. We're just gonna build some more cannons. Just you and me, riding off in the sunset. It's okay, my parents will still be paying my cell phone bill. <laughs> This permit will take us wherever we need to go. <laughs> oh my god. I had so much fun watching the replays today. Oh, you guys are amazing. Munchtastic with the amazing defense. Ranged units, very good against buildings with no attack. In the unit counting station, we see dead even in terms of where the... Oh! Zealots! Zealots! Oh my god, these are cannons! They're not cannons! Shoot! Run! Shoot! Run! Oh my god, Kimarne is utilizing micro... And he's always using these zealots to accentuate the push of his cannons! My god, Kimarne, you are so esports! But there's another base from Munchtastic. The Marines are... Oh, they've killed the Nexus! Appa amazingly! We see, oh, the probe's pulling back. Now he can build cannons at three times the rate. Meanwhile, we see, <gasps> the zealots might not be enough. The cannons, oh, he's walking into the cannons. You've got to be careful, Munchtastic. You have to be careful. Kamarni is creating that solid static defense. He's building dat defense. Dat defense, all right. Munchtastic, he knows that positioning is on his side, but keep in mind, four zealots, absolutely murder five marines. Alternatively, six, if you like counting. It's gonna be an epic micro battle, but oh no, the zealot counts a little bit high. He's taking damage from a cannon, Munchtastic. Oh, he's target firing the pylon. It doesn't do anything. He's target firing another pylon. Also completely, I believe in you. We do see the probe count. Oh my god. Vespine, what in the hell in the fuck? Vespine, what's this research? You can tech? I see we're at the 18 minute and 34 second count. Kimarna, you have some explaining to do. Wow. Either way, we do see the photon cannons at the front. Photon cannons trying to establish reasonable defense, but oh no, the counterattack by Munchtastic. 
Counter-attack by Munchtastic. He's moving in. He's microing. Micro, 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 micro. There's cannons here. Amazingly enough, he ran into the cannons that were built at the start of the game. They have one single kill down. And now Munchtastic trying to control as best as he can. You can catch him because, unfortunately, he is not the gingerbread man. Cannons continue to assault, but Munchtastic, it is a tier one fiesta. Only marines, cannons, bunkers, and more barracks have been constructed thus far. We do see that there's been literally no mo no gas mined by Munchtastic. He's taking out one base. He's moving forward. Oh no! There's no pylons! All the cannons remain! Oh no! He has to lift his gold, but we see Kimarne. He needs to build another nexus. Where can he build the nexus? Where can he build it? He's building it up here! Alright. Alright, both players satisfying Fun Day Monday quite a lot in this game, but Munch-tastic! Munch-tastic, you may have done it. I don't believe it, Munch-tastic. In a room somewhere in the world, there's a fellow named Kamarne who's turning around. Baby, baby, please. Baby, we'll just next time we'll build more cannons. Eh. Isn't that great? There's eight more games to do. And I think what we're just going to do right now is we're going to hop into the fail game of the day because that sounds like a good build to me. Oh, yes, the fail game, the ever infamous fail game. Every single Fun Day Monday, there's a game that makes you face palm so hard we have to show it. So we're going to find out exactly what that is. And guess who it is, gentlemen? Guess who it is? Someone who has submitted many a time before, but will he be featured today? Yes. Like there would be another option. It is Saucy, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Saucy. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. By types lol. Almost as though he's map hacking, but as it turns out, there's some history. By about what do you speak? And we see, hi, do -do, did I just play you? Saucy, skipping the gold, was just curious because you're blue, and it looks like... Oh, oh, look, he's just landing. Oh, mind if I mine here? No problem. And they coexisted peacefully. And there's the thanks. All right, so we got a game. We do see there's the two gate. Uh, there's some casual conversation. How long have you been playing since it was out? Oh, nice. I played beta myself. Cool. We see our first supply depot going down by Saucy. Um, I'm a little lost on what day it is. Summer and all. Uh, yeah, mind helping me out? What day is it? What day is it, bye? What day is it? What day is it? No idea either. I'm drinking beer. Does alcohol make you forget... The day of the week? Either way, that seems to be the case. Saucy is deeply disappointed in this. And the peaceful coexistence, not nice. We better relocate. We better relocate. Just a little bit. SCV is now trying to scoot their way around. Uh, we're going to take the go... No. Let's load up. Uh, well, at least we have a supply depot. No, Oh, look, the SCVs are just mining their own business. Well, there we go. There we go. Corny, but still funny. It's okay. We still got, still got a command center. All right. Coming back to the old main. Dissatisfaction. Why waste minerals, right? It's just sitting there. Got to build something. Land. All right. Commence mining operations. All right, we can build another SCV. And he's building. Oh. Well, he... Seems to have, well, saucy, kind of citing some moral issues. There's the double lift that allows him to successfully kill nothing. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have just seen the attempt from Saucy to mine from his opponent's base. And it didn't work in the slightest. But at the very least, he got to give us the successful joke. My SCVs were just minding their own business. Saucy, saucy, you know what? I'm giving you one. You guys gonna clap at home? I see little clap, clap, claps coming up in chat. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to do that which I, I wish I didn't have to do, but which I will briefly do. We're gonna be taking just a two to three minute break. In that break, I will be getting myself some more tea. And when we move on to part two of this Fun Day Monday, it's gonna be a theme section. It's gonna be... Close calls. Close calls coming up right after this. Whatever you do, don't go away. I find you to be awfully beautiful today. We're going to be back in just a minute with part two.